Hello everyone, my name is Suna and welcome to part 2 of Copper Build Hacks. Yes, pretty surprising to say that this is part 2 but we're not primarily focusing on copper for this video. Instead, we're going to focus more on industrial slash steampunk builds using copper. So yeah, with that out of the way, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So the first idea I have in mind when it comes to steampunk is gears. So for this, we're going to be using copper to make gears. You can use quartz or polish andesite, but copper works best. Now you can leave it as it is but if you want it to be more realistic, we're going to place a lever beside using copper and lightning rod. Now let's connect the chains to the gear wheels. That's it, a much better gear contraption. In this next build, I'm going to show you how you can make old industrial pipes. Now the placing of the lightning rods doesn't need to be perfect, so go crazy with it. I say the build's done, but to make it better, let's add a water meter. Much better. One of the reasons I love this design so much is the complexity of the pipes, how the levers connect from one point to another, you can also see the water levels from the copper, it's just perfect to add for industrial builds. Before we move on to building the steampunk machines, we're going to need a gas tank, which we'll use for later. Alright. Now that I've shown you how to make this gas tank, we're going to need it for the machine we're making. I don't know what to call this machine, so I'ma let you guys decide what the name of this machine in the comments. Here's another steampunk machine that I based on Tony Bratton's fix artwork. I hope I pronounced his name right. Again, I don't know what this machine is called, so you guys decide what name suits this machine in the comments. Notice that there's space behind the machine. This is the part where we add the gas tank we made earlier.
And that's our machine number two. Now I'm going to show you my favorite steampunk build, the claw or the grab machine. Now to me this fits perfectly for old industrial factories especially with the block colors copper and netherite. Before we build the robots, here's another industrial machine with the same concept as the grab machine. With copper and lightning rods, you can make a steampunk style robot. Pretty simple and easy to make. Now the reason I made industrial machines in the first place is that we can match them with the copper bot. Another one of my favorite builds in this video is a steampunk robot. You guys keep asking me where is this robot build from part 1, well the reason for that is it fits the theme of today's video. Now you know. What I love about this robot is that there are lots of things you can do with it. Number one, you can change the blocks used in the robot so you have different varieties of designs with it. Number two, you can even change some parts of the robot, maybe even change the other arm with dripstone which made it 100% more epic. Three, you can disassemble some parts of the robot and add machines to the sides if you want. I mostly prefer this version to the completed one. There are lots of possibilities, the designs are endless, and it's up to your imagination to do so. Since we made a robot design, how about we make an animatronic? For this, I'll make a robot shark. Let's add a blast furnace to make it more steampunk style. And now we have a robot shark. If you're confused as to how this looks, here's a comparison between a normal shark and a robot shark. See the difference? Last but not least, I'm going to show you a steampunk style aquarium.
And there we go! Let me know in the comments what you think of this cute aquarium. There you go folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video and before I let you go, I just want to say a quick thank you to some of you for sending me some fan arts. If you want to send a fan art or have any ideas in mind, then be sure to click the invite link in the description below.